Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. We are back in Bayo del Carpino today. And if you know Bayo del Carpino, you know that's where Justin and Michael had their gorgeous villa, which has been sold, by the way, to a lucky client. Um, in any case, we've got a beautiful unit here that I wanted to show you. Bayo del Carpino is really an upcoming area. You want to keep an eye on it. So let's take a look at this one. You guys I think you're going to love it. Okay, we are right in front of the unit. It's actually in a really nice wooded area up here. And the sea is right over there, so I'm sure it has a gorgeous sea view. And it's on a quiet via here. It's not on one of the busier streets, so if you want a little privacy, you're in luck. Let's go have a look. One thing I love about a lot of these units is they have really pretty gardens. Now, if you like, you could put a lawn here, you could put a little patio here. There's all kinds of opportunities, but this little garden is all yours. And as you can see in Calabria, plants grow like crazy you can put in any kind of plant here and it would do really well unless it's a desert so plant. here's your view from your little porch and it's very private back here i just love all these plants and flowers springtime's a great time in calabria now you can see that this porch is in really nice shape it's just pretty okay let's go in what we have is a two bedroom two bath unit and they have, the owners have put in uh, like a storage unit or a small studio, which you could take out and still have two bedrooms and two bathrooms, two good sized bedrooms and two good sized bathrooms and really um, open up this living space, which I would do. And you're going to have a lot more light, a lot more living space, just really super comfy. The estimate on that is around 1500 euros. So it's not much. And coming through. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, this is nice. I love the arch here. You know, in a lot of these, there's a wall and then a, like a little doorway for the kitchen. So the kitchen remains so dark. And a lot of them really need to be opened up like this. This one's already opened up in an arch. And out the back, you can see you've got another little patio. So this is really, really nice. Now here is the ripostilio or the storage unit. It's, it's very small. Again, I would rip that out and just open up this living room space. Now, if you ripped out this extra thing here, studio or whatever, all of that starting from here would be living room space. It would be big, it would be open. I wish you could see out the front door, you could see the sea from your sofa here. I really like this kitchen. It looks relatively new, relatively modern. Got a nice new stove, new oven. It's nicely done. I don't think I would touch this kitchen. I think I would just leave it as is. Now, of course, you've got a big, beautiful bathroom here. They did a nice job on the bathroom. It's all redone. You've got the nice wood green tiles, a beautiful window here to add light and air. This is actually really quite nice. Back, you've got this beautiful patio. It's really, really nice. You can put a table out here, have your lovely dinners out in the back here or even in the front. The thing is in summertime, the back areas of these units are very cool and nice. Pretty, pretty garden. You could put fruit trees up there. You could put a garden garden up there. Just leave it as is. And then that takes you up to the street behind. Very, very pretty. Let's go upstairs and look at the bedrooms. Okay, this is the first bedroom which leads out towards the back. This is a huge bedroom. Look at it. Really, really big. Room for built-in, it's built-in armadios. Okay, this bedroom is really giant. You have built-in closet space there, which is very handy. You've got room for another giant armadio here. There's a lot of stuff in here that's kind of big, like big armadios, but you really have a lot of space. And it looks like these beds are built-ins. You can take them down, it's not that hard, but how handy is that if you have kids? And out the back, you have this beautiful little balcony. It's actually quite large. And from here, you can see the rest of the complex and your garden. I'm seeing a lot of work being done in this complex here. A lot of fixing up. You can see that the unit right behind you here has been fixed up, so it's very pretty. You can hear the equipment and the workers right now just doing a lot of renovations. Baya del Carpino is coming up in the world. The tile is so pretty. It's all kind of new, really. Now you have a very pretty bathroom. Look at the tile in here, it's so pretty. It's all renovated. Super bright and super pretty. You got a box docha in the corner. Box docha is a shower, shower box. 
pretty good size. Looks like a meter and a half, meter and a half this way, and maybe a meter, half a meter that way. Good enough to uh, take a shower even for bigger people, which I always appreciate. Really pretty bathroom. Love it. Okay, and here is the master bedroom here. It's quite big. And again, you have these huge armadios, which take up a lot of space. They're coming up from the wall pretty far, so you have a lot more space than it really looks like in here. Look at that, air conditioning heating units. I love it. Hello. Okay, this is the best part here. Look at this view, you guys. Oh, you got a nice view of the sea. And when you come out a little bit farther, you can see it way over on this side too. You get a really, really stunning view of the sea. It doesn't show up as much on video as I would like it to, but it really is quite spectacular. It's a beautiful day today. Finally, the rain stopped. There's a little snow on the hills, but uh, the rain stopped and we got, of course, more flowers. <laughs> and the sea is always so pretty after the rain. Okay, you guys, there you have it. Valle del Carpino, beautiful area, so close to shopping, so close to all the services and restaurants. And yet you're just a little bit above the fray with these stunning sea views. See you soon, guys.